children's author Tara Michener and Michigan Paralyzed Veterans of America Development Director Jacqueline Cochis are friends. They often meet for coffee, and eventually the conversation drifts to frustrations encountered when prejudice creeps into their respective worlds. Jacqueline sees the biases Armed Forces veterans face when they try to get a job. Tara, a diversity trainer, worries about how prejudice affects self-esteem, especially in children. The two women decided to combine forces and bring together a think tank committed to diversity and representing particular constituencies for a truly broad perspective. Michigan Paralyzed Veterans of America hosted the initial meeting of the Diversity Alliance, and the general consensus was, let's pool resources, change perceptions, and work together for full inclusion. So why does this group feel that diversity and inclusion merits this special initiative? So, I hate the melting pot analogy. I'm going to tell you what I call it. I call it a salad. I think um, when you think about melting, it takes away the culture that you are. And I don't want to take away the fact that I'm African American. I think that that's who I am. That's a part of who I am. It's not all of it, but it's a part of it. So when you think about a salad as opposed to a soup, a pot of soup, you think about it's all together, it's all coexisting, it's all happy and, and close, but you see the distinctive tomatoes and you see the lettuce and you see the olives or whatever you might like on your salad. You see it mixed in. So we're all still together, but we don't lose ourselves. I think that there's a difference there. So the differences can be an asset and not be a liability as we have sometimes wanted to think that they are. I'm not really sure, sure why the disability portion of diversity hasn't been linked together because it's obviously such an important part of diversity. Well, the goal is to give insight that there needs to be another component to, to diversity and it's got to be disability. And I welcome what we're doing here with the, with the diversity initiative to, uh, I think, address an issue that lingers in a society. So I think it's just the fears that we have been instilled with that we have accepted about each other. You know, when they say diversity, now they added inclusion because it's almost like accountability. You know, you're diverse, but are you being accountable on it? Even though employers say that they do not discriminate against their age, they're reporting back to me that their interview went really well, they had a phenomenal interview, they even, you know, they thought that they were going to get a call back, but something happened and they feel that they lost the position to a younger candidate or that they were discriminated against, but there is no real way for them to prove that, but they feel it. They feel that they have been dis discriminated against because of their age. So I think it's a human relations, a human rights um, issue that we really need to, to focus on and, and, and kind of go back to some of the basics, like treating people the way we want to be treated. And if it, if it would hurt you, then why would you treat someone that way? I think it's important to respect each other's differences and to learn that you can really leverage um, uh, each other's talents in, into making uh, a win-win situation. Because we don't all have the same issue, but we all see that we all respect each other and we see the need to uh, celebrate what each other is doing. And I think by having a diversity uh, initiative that we can help spread the, wor the word out to our friends and into our community that it's important to, to um, do some outreach and include everyone. The Diversity Alliance is actually kind of a unique thing. Different organizations that are here today, people that deal with um, diversity in the level of language, people that deal with diversity with chronic illness, and how it all really ties in together and how we can be stronger if we work together. And everyone needs to buy into it and that's where this inclusion came in. All the partners in the Diversity Alliance agree that education is the key to creating understanding and helping people see the strength that a diverse community, a diverse workforce, Possesses. So how do they plan to grow this movement? One main goal is to have a fair where we can uh, bring different dimensions of diversity together um, like a one-stop shop and um, open it to the public. The next step uh, is to create a website and also maybe a PSA. So if anyone out there watching this can come up with some creative ideas that we might be able to use in a PSA, please get back with us on that. A blog, a walk, 
and regular meetings are also on the agenda as the Diversity Alliance plans to celebrate the uniqueness of each one of us, as well as the particular talents and skills that we each contribute as part of our purpose as the history of the world is written.